Food Share is trying to help families make ends meet right now. Volunteers with the program will be distributing groceries in East Hartford today and for the rest of the week. But the demand is huge, and there's concern that the food and the money will eventually run out. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live now from Rentschler Field. Carolina, this is where families are picking up food this morning, right? That's absolutely right. And we know that one of the main root causes of food insecurity is poverty. And many families are struggling right now to make ends meet, as you said. So we know that there's a growing number of people who maybe for the first time ever are asking for help with their groceries. And that's the need that Food Share is trying to meet today and the rest of the week. So we know that families yesterday, they lined up outside of Rentschler Field two hours before distribution even started. The size of the stadium, it helped provide the space needed for social distancing for what turned out to be the largest distribution ever for food share. Families received a bag with apples, onions, potatoes, and more produce to help them maintain a healthy lifestyle. With a mom of four, it is a great help. I mean, the way it was uh, extensive, but it was worth it. Food Share CEO says that they will help as long as possible. Grocery stores account for 75% of donations right now to the program, but that number isn't being met. We've had to purchase food. Food banks are not in the business of purchasing food. We typically get it donated to us. Food Share is going to be relying on donations moving forward. We know that donations and distribution today it starts from 8.30 and goes until noon. That is the schedule for today and the rest of the week. And we do have a link on our app where you can uh, find out more about how you can help Food Share stay open. Reporting in East Hartford, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.